One of the main uh, focuses of my practice at MyAligner is on research and development of uh, fully functional anatomical orthotics that do not take uh, much time, tongue space and yet allow the patient to test drive a new bite very conservatively, non-surgically, and um, get some relief from uh, TMD symptoms. Um, as you can see in this case, you know, the patient suffers from an uneven plane of occlusion here, narrowing of the posterior segment of the jaw and some crowding, and a narrowing of the upper jaw, which uh, is probably causing, causing this mandible to retract or um, uh, deviate from its um, normal physiologic trajectory uh, of closing. Um, so a lot of our dentists will, um, after they relax the muscles and decide where the mandible should be, they um, um, provide us with an occlusion that shows that interocclusal space. Um, so I wanted to share this design with you um, that um, is segmented and it goes all the way to the gum line so the patient can chew and function with this. Um, and this doesn't take any any tongue space, follows the curve of um, occlusion really nicely and allows the patient to just uh, chew and function with it for a few months um, and get some relief from TMJ pain, muscle spasm, while they're going through phase one orthotic therapy and hopefully correcting uh, tongue posture and the um, alignment of their uh, neck and posture and on their way to phase two. Um, if the occlusion is really, uh, if the vertical dimension of occlusion is open, um, we make an anterior segment also to provide some uh, anterior guidance, canine guidance, you know, and this allow this patient to be able to chew and function really comfortably. <coughs> Um, the second design that I wanted to share with you, and this is the exact duplicate of the mandible in this case that we made with um, 3D printing. So as you can see, this is how the occlusion fits. We've reached some retraction of that mandible. And uh, the second design that I want to share with you is um, meant to be not removable like this by the patient, but um, temporarily bonded to the teeth. And um, that design really helps um, transition into phase two orthotic therapy, uh, orthodontic or orthotropic uh, procedures. And as you see, we stop kind of like a barely past the height of contour. That way the patient can floss or water pick in this area because I would recommend this um, design to be uh, temporarily cemented on the teeth. It just makes um, transition into phase two easier. An orthodontist can um, segment these and, um, and um, while maintaining the mandibular position, um, they can um, maybe expand the upper jaw, expand uh, and uh, improve the plane of occlusion um, while they're maintaining the mandibular position. And um, if I remove this piece, you can see <clears throat> that you can kind of see that interocclusal gap uh, that is um, needed to close. Um, so this is not my patient. This is um, I was just doing a quality check here at my liner and I ran uh, across this case. So um, I don't know where the symptoms, uh, what the symptoms are, but from what I see, the patient uh, definitely needs some. Uh, um, some treatment, um, mostly orthodontic treatment after uh, the TMJ is stabilized. These are um, mainly designed to take as little tongue space as possible. And as you see, they're um, done on non-prep teeth. So very conservative approach to treatment. And um, we don't usually um, recommend patients wear these for more than three months. Three months is usually enough for bioremodeling. And um, basically I look at this as a diagnostic phase of the treatment, get them in an orthotic, see if they get some relief and then start some structural changes by arch expansion, 
um, maybe um, operating the teeth, the teeth through ortho and, um, and other um, approaches such as um, correcting tongue posture with myofunctional therapy and, and bite alignment. Um, if you have any questions about um, delivery of the appliance, contact us, uh, contact me directly and um, or <clears throat> if you need training on, on knowing how to relax and um, relax the jaw and provide that bite registration, there's a lot of reputable institutes out there that are teaching uh, this technique um, of physiological or neuromuscular dentistry. Uh, we will be at ICCMO uh, this year at ICMO, so if anybody wants to meet us, our team will be there in September, and we're looking forward to seeing you all.